I say, you look like someone who wants protection and a certain something about presence, Akira? Holler if any of the iron or steel laying around catches your fancy. Or if you need something repaired, I'm happy to take a glance. Akira, they wouldn't put a traditional smith here unless she brought something special. My clients wanted everything engraved and beautiful. Wasn't why I got into the business, but it keeps my debtors happy. I keep it interesting working with exotic materials like shark leather, since there's some demand and little supply. Curious metalwork, I say. These engravings. How did you ever manage to break this wonder? Forget I asked. This is no small challenge. 1500 pyres is the price. Ikara, I will get started at once. Have a seat. This will take time. My friend, your handsome blade is restored. A good thing it was made of exceptional steel. Ah, oh, such a shame to see it go. But go it must. If you're ever in need of spare coin, I'd be happy to take that off your hands. Enjoy it in the meantime. Takehu, you have shirked your duties for the last time, I say. Guildmaster, be reasonable. I skipped one lecture to travel up the mountain. Still, the palace is closed until you present me before Onikaza. You went alone. I asked for patience, but as usual, you make a trench out of a tide pool. Akira, it's always both where this one is concerned. My patience wears thin, old shark. You have stifled me enough for one trip through Rakuhu's bowels. I say Ngati weeps at her petulant spectacle of a child. Akira. The significance is clearer to some than others. For a water shaper who treasures his duty to the goddess, you spend too many days cavorting at the brothel. Ugh, insufferable. Did you need something? Or is it enough to bask in perfection? Well, through our connection to the gods, the Hoana mold water like it is clay, easing it into an assumed form. We could sink every ship in Rawatai's fleet if they drew too close to the city, but some of us have gentler tastes. Some of us see water shaping for what it is, a gift of divine expression. Well, surely you have seen my works across Nekitaka. Look to the antechamber of the Kahanga Palace for my Apple of Ngati, or to the luminous bathhouse for my Dance of the Wanton Priestess. For as long as there have been Hoana, there have been water shapers. But only since Takehu has water shaping been art. Kira, I bring art to the Guild of Water Shapers, but they do not tolerate expression here. What I am is to blame, I say. A fine guess, but no. It is because I am a godlike, kissed by the fish goddess at birth. Water shaping is Ngati's gift to the Huana, and apparently I am too. <laughs> Savior to the tribes. <laughs> Oh, 
The only question is, do I return to my duties, or while away a few hours in the bathhouse? <laughs> the guild can wait until I am good and ready to return. A watcher? And here I am, used to being the freak of Pariki's Overlook. What does a watcher... do? Ikera. Just so. I say I am no sailor, and I know even less about death. I am an artist. My peers do not understand. Water shaping to them is like studying calligraphy, to brew ink and sort parchment. The tide brings unexpected gifts. You are not unknown to me, I say. Whispers of an Adra Colossus reach my ears, and louder whispers of a corpse who follows him. What will you do when you catch up to this walking god? As do many mortals in the Deadfire, it seems the gods are no different. If it untangles me from the guild's apron strings, then you can mount me as the figurehead of your fair ship. Our quarters may smell a fish before long, but your crew will be more beautiful by association, I say. Do the rest of us have a say in the matter? Lead on. It will be good to put some distance between myself and the guild, even if we find less savory places along the way. A fair warning, Captain. Ingati gifted her favorite son with more than his stunning complexion. Good guess. Only for as long as... Well, I say you will learn, in time. Not a problem. You have questions for me. Speak up, I say. Is that name supposed to mean something to me? If what you're saying is remotely true, it would be a violation of our order, not to mention a breach of trust with the Crown. I can take it from here. Better to keep such matters discreet. Oh, how very enlightened of you. But the Crown holds us to a higher standard, and so do I. Ikira, my pleasure. Water shaping is a talent bestowed on the Juana by the goddess Ngati. Hariki was the first in recent memory to organize the talent into a series of teachable forms. What else would you like to know? Our art is the yield of the Juana's ancient covenant with the goddess. Our ancestors pledged to protect the luminous Adra, the islands, and the tribes. Ngati gifted us with the strength to keep our promise. We control tides, prevent storm damage, and keep unwelcome ships at bay. Lately, we haven't experienced an artistic revival of sorts, thanks to our star pupil, Takehu. We represent the best of Juana achievement, no small responsibility. Akira, speak freely. Thank you. 
Hey, City's got regulations against this sort of place. No? What say, friend? The Guild Sanctum has seen better days. A sanctum for master water shapers, I say. No students or outsiders allowed. I have never been there myself. Myru assures me the room has no need of cleaning. Akira. One of <laughs> middling skill, if I am generous. Not all of us can boast of Takehu's talent. But Nagati touches us differently, I say. The Guild didn't used to allow outsiders the freedom of our halls. Ikira. But how times change. Simply a caretaker. I dust off Pariki's tomb and try to keep the place tidy. Caring for the Guild Hall usually means drying off what others get wet in practice. What say, friend? Things like straight coming back without a weak kit ready when you are. Not a problem. Sorry, friend. I can't. Uninvited. This is my estate, not a beachside hut. You invite this information so freely. Is it your first time? Oh, 
Everything hurts. Savvy. Oh. I meant to do. Most exceeds the curse. Not a problem.
Avast, ground filth! Why disturb Lord Admiral, eh? Eh? I'm not doing anything wrong! Eh? Go away! Boat! Eh? Lord Admiral has fleet! Blast filthy ground stink city! Start with you, eh? G get him, Cullies! Looks like trouble. Stuck over here. Not to alarm you, but I slowly. Better run. There's a lot of it. Didn't no work. Rush. No rush. No rush. Yeah. 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 Seems fair. Could have tried something else. Can do. Bleeding dry. Oh, not this again. There's a dozen of you fools in every city. Isn't doing the job. This fight is not even close.
isn't doing the job. You know what? I'm impressed. That was, whew, wow! I've never experienced anything like that before. Well, it sounds like you two got something real special there. Almost makes a man wish for a sword of his own. Adair, you have a sword already. Several, in fact. Yeah, but I've never had one that purrs when you stroke it. Did no one ever teach you not to eavesdrop? Keep your ears to yourself, creep. You've been good to me. Better than I thought you'd be. <laughs> I may not always show it, but... I appreciate it. I guess. But my owner... <sighs> Things weren't perfect between us. Sometimes she'd cry after using me, or... scabbard me and ignore me for days. It was you won't tell her about us, will you? I, not that I like you or anything, it, I just... Don't want her to get the wrong idea. She's very sensitive. Old. Like your style. Ugh, I hate you. Keep your feelings to yourself. Oh, this was a mistake. I knew I shouldn't have brought it up. Just point me at the map and I'll mark the last place I heard she was going. Some city called Dunnage.
She dumped me, okay? She said she couldn't do this anymore and tossed me in a pile of garbage. Do you feel better now that I've humiliated myself for you? Is that what you wanted to hear? I don't want your fucking pity. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's go. Puny. Too puny to join my crew. Go away. Because it is kind of you to announce yourself to me, Bounty Hunter. I heard you. I hope you like my set. Who are 
you? What are you doing here? I had thought... I hoped to never... Why did you bring it here? You said you would come back for me. But you never did. Alone for all those years. Picked up and discarded by countless strange hands. Hoping every time that they might be yours. What did I do wrong? It was no fault of yours. It is I who am to blame. It was shame. I was born a cipher. As a young woman, I was apprenticed to a master and a mancer. He was keen to refine the art of housing souls, and he believed someone of my abilities might be an asset to his aim. My parents made a pretty copper on that deal. When I left him, I took moldware with me. I thought it was my responsibility to look after it. I decided that my penance for Moldwer's creation would be to hunt those who used animancy for terrible ends. Do not make the mistake of thinking me noble. You don't know the things I've done. For a time, I took a position with Dunreed Row in Defiance Bay. I saw things that haunt my night still. With every unscrupulous animancer brought to justice, my guilt grew, knowing I was their equal and evil's done. I fled for dead fire to the Principe, but I was too naive to know that shame has fleet feet. It devoured me. I thought if Moldwer were gone, I might finally be free of my shame. How foolish I was. But what of you? What do you want? I don't remember my life before, so I, I can't hate you for stealing it from me. I don't know if I'll ever be able to forgive your betrayal, but... I would still prefer to stay with Ingfrith if she would have me. I haven't forgotten. I do care for you as well. I have to wonder... What'll happen to me after both of you die? Can my soul even return to the wheel? Though I've only known life as a weapon and I've no desire to die... Neither do I want to live forever. I'm only a weapon. A tool. And even though you're still a ham-handed halfwit, <laughs> I trust you. So you decide. soul is really gone. You've put to rest a great burden for me. Thank you. Turn. Hmm? So, the puffed up little charlatan is gone for good. Well done. 
That's one down. Just three left to go. If finally the lady falls, you already have my gratitude. Now take my coin. But halfway is half done, my friend. There are two more members of the Firebrand's old crew that need your special attention. I hope Katren put on a good show for you before the end. There's just the one crew member left now. I'd say it's a shame to have lost such a brilliant mind, but Torkar didn't give you any choice. You've put to bed the last of the Firebrand's crew, my friend, which was more than I ever could have hoped for. Thank you truly. I can rest easy now, knowing they got what they deserved. Danea was a wild girl from the day she was born. She came out of the womb yelling loud enough to make your ears bleed. And she never really stopped. She chased a bad end like a winter-starved wolf chases the first fat deer calf of spring. It was only a matter of time before she caught it. But dead is dead. And reminiscing with you won't bring her back. Leave it to me.
Hunter, do you come to serve your coin bond? Then our clients have transmuted gold into justice. You have proven to me that you know the value of a coin bond. There is more work for you, if you'll have it. Anadire the Siren haunts the rocky shore and steers ships to a watery grave. The surviving crews of a dozen vessels have rallied their coin against her. She can be found in the western isles of the great Kua Urukuhu chain. <laughs>